Hi guys, welcome back to A Bus and Beyond and I'm here at Caffeine and Machine. I don't know if you remember, we actually came here and stayed the night in a Grand California for the, uh, the UK press launch of the Grand California. VW have kindly invited us back again, but this time to look at the opposite end of the scale. This is the much, much smaller Caddy California and let's take a look around. Well, it looks like it wasn't just us who had a lockdown baby this last year, as VW have grown their family with this compact camper version of the iconic California. Poor Sean got drenched in the filming of this, but it's exciting for us to be able to bring you an in-depth first look at this Caddy California, or Baby Cali as I'll affectionately be calling it. VW have completely redesigned the Caddy and used this fifth generation redesigned version to build the Caddy California. There's two lengths available, a short wheelbase and a maxi variant which has a longer wheelbase which is what we're looking at today. Now usually we'd be showing you the outside of the van and then moving inside for the kitchen etc, but the caddy uses its space in a different way to its much larger siblings. The kitchen area sits in the boot of the van and you pull out a drawer to reveal a one burner hob and a little preparation area. Under that, there is storage for your cutlery and a few pots or plates and provisions. It's at a good height to stand to do a little bit of cooking and simply slides away when you're done. This is also where the biggest difference between the short wheelbase and the maxi is shown. In the short wheelbase the bed comes right to the edge of the kitchen unit, however in this maxi version you'll see that there is some extra space on top of the kitchen unit after the bed ends. There's more storage solutions in the back with bags in the rear side windows which can hold up to 5 kilograms each and are firmly attached in case of an accident. Plus VW always likes a little party trick and slung under the bed space, which I'll get to later, is their super clever table and two chairs set, which is exactly the same set as you seem to see on all the California vans. Since this is the UK and it's pouring with rain, you're probably thinking the kitchen area is not ideal. However, since it is a tailgate design, at least you can keep the rain off that way. But you can also buy a freestanding tent that attaches to the tailgate to give you an extra room, which you can even put an extra bed in. This means it could sleep up to four adults, two in the caddy and two in the tent. Due to the compact nature of this van, you have to set the caddy bed up from the outside. And as you can see, you fold down the rear three-person bench seat to make the bed. As a side note, that rear bench seat can actually be removed altogether if you have no need for it. The two front seats fold forward and the bed clips in at the front. This is a two-person job which might make lone travel a little bit more of a challenge. Perhaps there's a knack to it that we aren't aware of. The bed has the Froley style springs and a fairly thick mattress which would make it pretty comfy for such a small vehicle. The bed measures an impressive 198cm long by 107cm wide, making it only 7cm narrower than the California Ocean bed. One super cool feature is the fact that there is actually a panoramic roof above you when you're in bed as well. There's a 12 volt socket by the head of the bed plus switches for the interior LED lights. Behind the rear bench seats there's a security locker for the gas bottle that has a floor vent to ensure user safety. 
And if you're wondering where you could sit and eat or work if it's pouring with rain, there's a little foldable table on the back of the driver and passenger doors. The blinds are not built in like in the Grand and Ocean California models, but it does come with these magnetic blackout blinds, which the very wet Sean is showing us here. There's even a blind for the panoramic roof. As an actual car, this baby California comes with air conditioning, power adjustable wing mirrors and anti-theft alarm as standard. You can also get driver alert systems, lane assist, cruise control, smartphone connectivity and an 8.25 inch colour touchscreen plus a number of other systems. What's nice is you also get black roof rails and 16 inch alloy wheels as standard. You can choose from three engine options, a 114 PS 1.5 litre TSI turbo petrol with options of a 7 speed DSG gearbox or a 6 speed manual, and a 2 litre TDI turbo diesel with either 102 PS or 122 PS. The 102 comes with a 6 speed manual gearbox as standard, whereas the 122 PS comes with the 7 speed DSG automatic gearbox as standard. Quite amazingly, if you chose the 102 PS manual gearbox short wheelbase version, it comes to under £30,000, showing that the California range can now suit a whole variety of different budgets and types of adventure. And if you're wondering what the top spec caddy is, if you were to pick the 122 PS automatic maxi van, it starts at £36,029. Well guys, I'm sure you can hear the weather is absolutely atrocious. It's been like this all day here. It was like this last time we were here as well. This is the British weather for you. Anyway guys, what do you think to the Caddy California? Is it something that you're interested in? We'd be placing an order. Orders do actually open in around about October, I think, of this year for the first UK deliveries early next year. I think it's a smart little van. I think you need, ideally, you need decent weather because you've got to spend a bit more time outdoors than you would necessarily have to do in a bigger California, obviously. I think it's ideal for people that are probably road tripping, just need a quick bed for the night. So let us know in the comments below whether it's something you're interested in. Please like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And also share the video with someone that you think will find it interesting as well. It really helps us out. But uh, thank you so much for watching and we shall see you in the next video. Cheers. Finally, I'd like to say a huge thank you to VW for inviting us to this press launch and also Caffeine and Machine for hosting it. See you in the next video.